Hi guys, Sue Wilson back for another episode of Crafting My Style. And for today, I have decided to show this card here, which uses gilding flakes. I've had a lot of emails lately about how to use gilding flakes in different ways, so I thought this would be a perfect, perfect example. So the major items that we're going to be using today are the Spellbinders Decorative Labels 1. Really, really lovely set with a, a really pretty little uh, frilly edge on that. We're also going to be using the Just Right Floral Thank You set. Now this set's one of my favorites because it's got a silhouette to it and there's so many fun things you can do with that. And I'm also going to be using my A4 embossing folder called Sea Garden. All right, and lastly here, we've got the um, Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes, and this is called Autumn Leaves. Okay, so we're gonna use that, and because we're using the Gilding Flakes, we're also going to be using the Cosmic Shimmer Flake and Glitter Glue. This is a very unique glue, so I'm really looking forward to showing you this, okay? Set that aside for the moment. What we're gonna do is kind of a unique um, background where I'm going to use the Scotch double-sided tape, okay? And it's, I know it's difficult to see because it's clear, but I've already put three strips around the side here. So for the fourth one, and these are all done exactly the same way, you're gonna pull off a strip that's longer than what you need, okay? and lay it down as close to the edge as you possibly can. And get that right on there. And if you're off just a tiny bit, you can trim it, so don't worry about that, okay? Lightly smooth it. You don't want to take the tack off the glue. And then we're going to peel this up and just trim away the excess pieces. Like that, take that off your scissors, trim this off and just trim off your extra bits. Very carefully. And let's do this one this direction. Okay, so now I've got four sides there that all have the sticky tape on them. Now the fun begins. Now I have to admit they're a little messy, but in a fun way. So I'm gonna take the lid off and I'm going to just pick up pieces of these gilding flakes. And I'm just gonna kind of randomly pop little piles around the the edges and then we're going to work them in. There we go. See you can kind of get the whole feeling that it's messy. You don't want to have a fan going. You just want to brush these into place and you will probably have to pick up a few more bits. And some, as you can see, are bigger pieces than others. So don't worry about that. We'll use all these little bits and bobs and we're just going to brush them onto that tape. In fact, it's kind of fun because you can just pick up the different colors in this autumn leaves pattern. It's got some golds, it's got some um, uh, greens in it, some reds. Oh, it's just so lovely. And I'm, I'm just using a, um, a rather stiff brush. This is kind of like a, um, a stencil brush, in fact, and we're just going to brush them into place. I personally like a brush that's got a little bit of, what I say, um, stiffness to it. I think it's easier to, to really work these about. Okay. And you're gonna just have to take a few minutes, go around the edge, and you can take and move all your little bits too if you like. Work them into that tape. Once they touch, they're gonna be stuck. And let's move that around this way, and I'm gonna add a little bit more here. And you can actually even work inside of a, a, a box lid or something if you want, so you can keep all your little pieces from flying everywhere. I thought it would be easier to film if it was in the open a bit more. There we go. And a few more bits around there. Kind of fun though. And really work it in. Let's take up some of these leftover pieces here. You can drag them around the edge here. Work them around. There we go. Now, I think that's a pretty good coverage. You want to take it and rub and take off your ex, um, excess pieces there and get a nice clean line. Okay, now I'm going to tap that away. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit cleaner. Ordinarily, I would take and sweep all these and get them back into my bin, but we don't want to take all day. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab a grime boss and we're going to wipe it out of our way for the moment. 
Okay, there we go. That'll help. Now, tap all the extra off, give it a little blow, and you've got a really pretty background there that's been gilded all the way around the edge. Isn't that nice? But wait, we're not done yet, okay? I'm gonna put the lid back on this for a moment. We're gonna use it again, but before that, we're going to take our Sea Garden embossing folder and we're going to emboss the whole thing. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show you was, um, if you're like me, every once in a while you'll pick up an embossing folder and you'll want to have the emboss and you'll get the deboss by accident. So I find if I put my name on the top or the name of the folder on the top where the emboss section is, it's a lot easier. And that way I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. And because I've actually got the gilding flakes on there, I'm not going to tape it this time. I'm just gonna center it in there. And I'm gonna grab my base plate. There we go. That's the bottom of my sandwich. And I'm gonna have my little shim piece and then my raspberry plate. And we're gonna run it through the machine, okay? And you know, when you're doing this at home, you can take a little more time and you can really clean up the embossing edge and make sure that the flakes are, you know, dusted away really nicely. You could even use an anti-static pad over the top of it. Um, because we're doing the demo and we're trying to, you know, move it along, not take too much time, it's a little bit on the quicker side. But you can see how fun you get this beautiful embossed edge all the way around with the gilding flakes and the embossing folder. Really, really like the way that looks. Just gives it a, a kind of a, another level to your embossing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that onto my background so it'll be ready to go. Let's use some tape here. Use my double-sided tape, the same tape that I use to put the gilding flakes on. And I'm just gonna run four pieces around the edges here and put it onto a card back that I've already prepared that's got a little piercing around the edge and I have a little black mat on there. And let's see if I can get that relatively, actually that may go that way. Ah, much better. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's finished for, for now. Set that aside. And now let's work on the uh, focal element. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the nice big flower that is in the floral, um, Thank you set by Just Right using the flake and glitter glue. Now, if you've never used this before, a couple little tips. I, um, I don't like to put it on my craft mat because it's really sticky. And if you don't get it off right away, it does create like a little sticky area. So what I do is put it on a little bit of wax paper, okay? So I'm just gonna put some out and I'm gonna be fairly generous with it. And I'm gonna pick it up with a piece of cut and dry foam. And the thing about this flake and glitter glue is you need to work quickly. Once it goes onto your stamp, you need to stamp it quickly and take it away. You don't want to dawdle it all as far as leaving the stamp onto the paper because it is so sticky. So a little bit of a, um, a learning curve to it, I have to admit. But we're just going to tap it on. And it's um, kind of got a little bit of a blue color to it. Let's see. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to stamp right here. Off. Now, you have to remember, clean your stamp first. This isn't going anywhere. Set that aside, grab a grime boss or take your stamp to the, the, the tap and, and wipe it off or rinse it under there, but get that glue off your stamp because you don't want it to gr uh, dry on there and become very, very sticky, okay? So I'm just gonna do this and just take off the major bit of it. And I have a little teeny thing of water back here. I'm just gonna set it face down in that for the moment. And then after the demo, I'll clean it up properly. So now this isn't gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna dry on you, not a problem at all. So you can come back to that ages later and it's still fine. Now we're gonna take in our, put our gilding flakes back across this and my fingers are a little damp so I'm sticking and get our brush out again. Now the funny thing with this is it's gonna look a big mess until you get it finished. So don't think you're doing it wrong. Just pop it on there and start gilding it, wiping it about, moving it around, hitting all that, that glue. So I'm just rubbing this around, getting it all onto the stamp, and I tell you what I think what will work really well is a rub it, scrub it pad. So I've just cut a little piece of that off and I'm going to take the excess and put it right back in there so you can see me do a bit more refining with it. And you just wanna rub it. 
and takes off the extra bits and brings your uh, image up to light. Now, let me tap that off underneath here in my little rubbish bin. So you can see I've got a gorgeous gilded flower there. Okay, but wait, we're not done yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover that with some sticky self-adhesive sheets. So let me move this to the side. And I'll tell you what, I'll do a little teeny bit cleaning up here so we're not quite so messy. You know, when we craft, we're always such messy people. But it's fun, huh? There we go, that'll help a little bit. Okay, so um, now I've got my double-sided adhesive sheet here. And like I said, it's got a um, glossy side and a matte side, but we are gonna be doing some die cutting, so I always try to get the matte side onto my cardstock. It's a little bit thinner and easier to cut through. So if you hold that with the matte side towards you and just use your thumb to kind of roll the adhesive, it will stay on that side and peel right off, okay? So I'm gonna put that over the top, give it a good firm press, and I'm going to be using the decorative labels one here, and I'm gonna uh, use the largest size. So let's just center this on top of there, and I'm gonna kinda of put it on the diagonal and using a little bit of my removable tape. Uh, let's see if I can get this centered. Now, I'm a big advocate of holding it up to the light, seeing where the picture is that you want, and moving your die around. Let's do that. The entire um, flower is not going to fit in there, so we're just going to cut off a tiny little bit of that. And now get our cutting plate with the cutting ridge down. Put my base plate on top there and I'm gonna roll it through. Now, it is a very detailed die. You have a layer of card, you have your gilding uh, flakes on there, and you also have that layer of sticky self-adhesive sheet. So this might require several passes. So don't, um, don't let that bother you if it doesn't cut all the way because there is quite a bit there. So I'm gonna just check it and see what we've got. It looks like we're doing pretty good here. I've got a little bit of tape. Let me take that off. Take this side off. And what I like to do is use my pokey tool. And let's see, let's move some things out of our way here and see if we've got it to, to poke out really well. If you've got all your little bits coming out, then you know you can go forward. If not, then you're gonna have to run it through and give it another pass. But it looks like they're coming out, so I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna be brave. We'll just peel it out. Oh yes, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. So I've got just a couple little bits here that I need to take away. Let me put this back onto my mat, clean a little room, and I'm gonna grab my clear microbeads. Now these come in a container like this. It's a huge pot of clear um, microbeads to use, and this is the smallest size. There's actually three sizes, and uh, they're lovely. So what you're gonna do is just peel off that layer of self-adhesive sticky sheet that you've put on. Get a hold of that, and very carefully peel that off and then you're gonna just dunk it into your microbeads and give it a good push. And that will pick up all of that texture. Now I always take and just go around the edge a little bit, you know, pushing them into place, making sure that they're secure. And then you've got just this really, really lovely, it's gilded and beaded, so you have extra texture there. Isn't that pretty? So now let's go ahead and put this on our card. And I've gone ahead and cut a uh, large size of the scalloped labels one as kind of a, an extra little mat for it. And I'll tell you what, let's just use some, let's just use a little bit of mounting foam back here. I think that'll be a little quicker. And we're gonna pop that on top of that. I like to have a little dimension in my cards too, so not a problem. I'm gonna put that on like that. There we go, you can take more time if you're, when you're making your card, obviously we're doing a quick demo here, so we're, you know, things might not be quite as straight as I'd like, but you get the idea, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, and I like that kind of diagonal look to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that's really pretty like that. If, you know, if you just wanna keep it simple, you can do that. I've added a bow that I've tied out of the um, cream colored silky crush ribbon. And I've taken a dazzler, just a clear dazzler, and used some of the um, metallic uh, alcohol inks. I've got the gold and the copper here, and I've just dripped little drops on top of that until it's actually dried, and I've just changed the color on that. So we're gonna put that on with a 
glue dot just to the side of my card. And because I want to add just a little bit of a, a sentiment, what I do is this is what I call like a tag card. Your, your main focal unit is there. But I've got just a little bit of a sentiment on my tag. And I am going to add that with a glue dot and just tuck it right underneath the edge of that dazzler so it sticks out. And there you have it, completely finished. Really, really easy to do and a lot, a lot of fun and gives you some great texture with those microbeads over the gilded flakes. Thanks. Bye-bye.